Hey everyone, this is John B. from Comox Valley Toyota with this month's Toyota Tip of the Month. Today we're going to be talking about dashboard warning lights and what they all mean. Okay, so did you know dashboard warning lights are color-coded? So a green light will indicate you've got a system on, such as your cruise control. An amber warning light means you've got a problem that you should address, but you don't have to do it immediately, although you should do it soon to avoid further damage. But red warning lights mean you've got to deal with it right away. You should shut the vehicle off as soon as you can safely do so and get a hold of us at the dealership. I'm just going to run through and quickly identify what a lot of the common warning lights are. First one is the ABS warning light. That'll let you know if there's any kind of a problem with your anti-lock brake system. Automatic high beam indicators. This one indicates that you've got your auto high beam system on. The brake system warning light indicates a problem with your brake system. The blind spot monitor indicates that somebody is in your blind spot. The cruise control indicator lights up green just to let you know that you've got your cruise control on. The driver's front passenger's airbag light will light up to let you know that that airbag is not currently active. And if it lights up red, it means you've got a problem with your system. And it's normal for the airbag to shut off when you don't have a passenger in the front seat. The eco driving indicator light indicates you're operating in eco mode so you get a little bit better fuel economy. The electric power steering system will light up if you're low in fluid in your power steering fluid. Lane departure alert, if it's on it'll be lit up green. Low fuel level warning light, we all know that one, that one comes up amber just to let you know, fuel's getting low. The next one we've all seen throughout our life. the check engine light and that one I think we all know it's usually amber don't keep driving your car with your check engine light on you can do it it won't do short-term damage but you could cause expensive repairs if you drive too long master warning light will come on in conjunction with any other system that's malfunctioning the parking brake indicator will come on to let you know your parking brake is on and obviously when you're driving with your brake on that's a dangerous situation uh, Pre-collision system warning, this will light up to indicate that that system is on or not. That's another one that will either be green to indicate system on or it won't be there at all. The slip indicator light lets you know that your traction control is working. You've had a little bit of a traction issue. You'll just usually see that one flashing quickly. We've got the sport mode indicator. This one just lets you know you're driving in sport mode and you need to know that just because that mode uses more fuel. It does deliver more power, but it uses a lot more gas. So if, if you see that indicator and you want to save money, turn that one off and drive in the eco mode. The tail light indicators for Canadian vehicles, that one is just going to let you know that your tail lights are on. Low pressure in your tires. The tire pressure warning light is one a lot of people don't understand. It'll come on amber. It means as soon as you can, you should check your tire pressure and top them up and vehicle stability control off indicator will just light up when you've shut that system off just so you know that it is turned off.